I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture. Now then. Now I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us somewhere in the great state of Michigan as we witness broken brain, broken teeth, also known as Big Man Josh, as he has to go to court for what you may ask? For traffic tickets. And it's plural tickets, no doubt. Well, we know he was arrested, at least temporarily, for driving MCC's pickup without a valid driver's license. Now, what else he has going on, I don't know. But this excerpt is from an hour and 20 minute live stream. Well, I only gave you about 20 minutes or so because that's all I could stomach before I started to get a headache. So you good people out there... <laughs> Enjoy! All right, everybody, we are live. Live, live, live. I have court today, and you can't see this, but I do have the Zoom call pulled up. So we're going to see how court goes today. Um, anyways, uh, it's scheduled for 3.30. And I don't know what time it is. It's, uh, what, 3.18 right now? So we might have about 12 minutes before uh, court starts up. So anyways, uh, if you guys are coming in, see uh, one person coming in. If you guys want to announce yourself in the chat, great. And if you don't, you just want to check this out, go for it. But we have, uh, we have court today. And we are live right now. Josh, what are you going to court for today? That wasn't when you were driving MCC's pickup truck without a driver's license, is it, Josh? Now, I see your video says traffic tickets, plural, as in more than one ticket, Josh? Oh, that's awful. That's awful. What a pitiful little man you are, Josh. Hey, are you still out on the road frauditing? Because I thought you were supposed to come here. Well, I did tell you not to come here. Maybe you heeded my advice, because you were pretty close there for a while. I don't know. Did you fi figure out that you should give up frauditing yet, Josh, and get a real job? 46-year-old man, and look at you. You're all broken down from drugs, not a good father, can't keep a steady relationship. Oh, Josh, pretty soon you're going to be my age, and what will you have? Nothing. Well, you can think about Dr. Dave and say, yeah, Dr. Dave told me so. So this court date may come at you live. Live, live, live. So I should be sharing my screen right here. And so if you guys can see this right here, this is my affidavit of status. Okay, and we're going to be bringing up this uh, paperwork here. And then I also have a notice of deficiencies as well. And we're going to bring that one up as well. Uh, but anyways, I have uh, submitted this document to the court. You guys can see that affidavit of status. 
I'm sure everyone out there is familiar with the old saying that anyone who represents themselves as their own attorney has a fool for a client. Well, Josh certainly fills the bill in that regard, doesn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Josh is a frauditor. He believes in the First Amendment. I tell you what, man, you better believe in the First Amendment very strongly. But you have your attention turned to the wrong people. No doubt about that, Josh. If you would take the time to look at what's going on in the world, you would be scared and you would stop this frauditing nonsense and focus your attention where it's needed most. No doubt about it. The people in Washington, D.C. have lost their bloody minds and are trying to turn this into a socialist country. But you keep on frauditing. And I tell you what, man, pretty soon you won't be able to afford it to fraud it. Nobody will have any money in this country. And then what are you going to do? Oh, you can move to Venezuela. Ha, 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 ha. I uh, got court today. It's scheduled for 3.30. Right now, it is, what, 3.20? So I've got probably about 10 minutes before this thing kicks off. And we're going to see uh, why this court just uh, doesn't want to just dismiss these charges. They could dismiss this just like they did in Novi. Uh, I'm in Clarkston court today. And you guys can't see this, but I've got my uh, phone in front of me, which is on the Zoom call right now. I've also got another device next to me that is going to be recording this court date. And we're also live streaming right now. So this is this is good. This is good, okay? What's good about it, Broken Teeth? You're live streaming before your court appearance and you think that's a good thing? Most people would be concentrating on what they're going to say to the judge. But you're a toothless wonder. You don't care what you say the judge because you have the First Amendment on your side. Freedom of press. Freedom to say whatever you want. And guess what? Freedom to get slapped with a fine by the judge. Oh, and you were driving on a suspended license? Hmm. How many times have you done that? Because if you've done that in the past, you might get a couple of days in jail to think about it, Josh. Oh, dearie me. Well, it doesn't matter because you don't see your kids anyway. You're not a good father. And I guess that the old lady dumped you. Somebody told me she lost her job. Is that true? Did she lose her good job at Amazon? Oh, man. Now she's going to have to go on the dole. Just like you, Josh. On the dole. Um, what's the case about? It's traffic court. Uh, traffic court and... Basically, what it is is uh, uh, it's the court's attempt to gain jurisdiction on you so they can extort you for money. That's the bottom line, what this is. This court's attempt to try to extort me for money. So uh, just waiting for the court date to fire up here. Uh, like I said, it's scheduled for 3.30, and right now it's 3.21. So maybe I'll stick with you guys for just a little bit. And... Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe if things go well, maybe you guys can listen to me in a court of law. Uh so let's get this straight, Josh. You think the court is trying to extort money from you. Well, that's not the case at all, Josh. You see, if you follow the traffic laws, you won't be in trouble. And then the man won't stop you and try to extort money from you. It's pretty simple, really. Just follow the rules. Of course, these aren't rules. These are laws. No doubt about it. These aren't rules and policies. These are laws. And you fail to understand the difference, huh? Is that what it is? Well, in a society, a civilized society, we have policies, we have rules, and we have laws that we must obey. And if we don't, we suffer the consequences. So now you're going to have to pay the man. Oh, dearie me. I guess you'll have to ask freaking media for some money. Yeah. Uh, you know, live and as it happens, this would be the first time that I did this. Uh, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh, no, the head fight, headphones might interfere. So, uh, But what, what I can promise you guys is regardless how this turns out, 
I will have audio from it, and this audio uh, will be played for the world to hear. I hope you guys understand the reason I do this isn't to win legal cases on the merits of my arguments. What I do this for is simply to point out that this is an extortion racket. That's what this is. Ever since civilization began, we've always had people who are outside the laws of our society. Yeah, they live on the fringe, and Josh is one of those people. He thinks he should be able to do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. He reminds me of a spoiled child having a temper tantrum in the store because mommy won't buy him a toy. No doubt about it. Loud, rude, annoying, and obnoxious. That sums up Josh to a T, doesn't it? He thinks this is an extortion racket. I'm telling you, Josh, all you have to do is what you're supposed to do. Follow the rules of the road and obey all traffic laws. You wouldn't be in this situation if it weren't for your own incompetence. You don't see me in traffic court, Josh. Oh, that's because I know how to drive? Is that right? No doubt about that. Let me skip through this high-quality content and see if we can find an ending. It appears as though Josh has taken his potato cam into the court and is recording the audio. Now, this is about 20 minutes after the last clip I played for you. You have to keep in mind that this video was a total of an hour and 20 minutes. We're not going to play the entire thing. I've just gone through and gathered a few pieces of information for your amusement. Well, I have already filed paperwork with the court, and the court said that they received the paperwork. Can we put that paperwork on the record, please? The paperwork I delivered at the initial arraignment, at the initial proceeding that I've been told time and time again, we don't have time to put that, to read that into the record. Today, do we have time to read that into the record? It's not, it's not necessary to read it in the record. If you're talking about the document, the document that was called the affidavit of the data. The notice of deficiencies. Yeah, so here's here's what the affidavit of status says. The affidavit of status says I That's what was So for the record, notice how many times that Josh tries to interrupt. He can't shut his mouth for more than 10 to 15 seconds at a time. He always has to interject his points. But, uh, oh, uh, eh, you shut your mouth, man. Let the people speak and then it's your turn, I promise. That's how conversations generally work. You talk then somebody else listens, right? And then the other person talks, you listen. It's a back and forth exchange. It's called sender receiver. You never learned that in school? Oh, that's right. You probably didn't finish school. Did you graduate from high school? I noticed you went to the Marines at a pretty young age. By the way, you claim that you weren't dishonorably discharged, but then again, you never told us what really happened. All we know is you have less than an honorable discharge, which is the same thing to me as a dishonorable discharge. Yeah, less than honorable. Ooh, are you allowed to uh, buy a firearm since you weren't discharged honorably? Probably not. So, anyways, guys, uh, what what you guys uh, what you guys think? So much for a fair and impartial hearing. Yeah, absolutely, right? You're for contempt of court they uh, dismissed me for case by the way guys uh, they just dismissed me from the court case so uh, but looks like we got 32 people in here so what you guys think do you guys think that's extortion uh, they always they always have the uh, this is what they call the strides in effect the more you try to take the focus off of it the more the focus comes on to it uh, so you know this is growing into its own animal right now and it's out of control and it's snowballed and i can't help that i can't help that okay so i gave them the opportunity to dismiss it and only pro se k i gave them the opportunity and they didn't want to take advantage of the offer 
So the Streisand effect is going to continue. I have absolutely no idea what this idiot is babbling about. Size and effect. And what? Who? Were you on the phone? I can't tell. Were you in the phone or in the courtroom? What is this live stream all about? It's an hour and 20 minutes of nonsense. Oh, my God. You know what? That's why I don't watch this guy very often. But this live stream caught my attention i downloaded it before i went on vacation and i came back and it was in my to-do list and i said oh well let me listen to this and it's nonsense it's bloody nonsense of course it's from a bloody wanker what do you expect either way we all know what's up we all know what's up they got the guns they got the cages they can lock you up for whatever they want and so I think I did a good job putting it onto record uh, that I am not participating in this voluntarily. I put this on the record that this is an extortion racket. And I put this on, on the record that, uh, you know, I'm not here voluntarily and I'm not going along and participating in this nonsense. Um, so and that's all it is. It's, it's nonsense. It really is nonsense. Fees, fines, levies, taxes, them all extortion. Well, yeah, I mean. They literally gave you an offer to resolve this and you chose not to. I gave them an offer to resolve it too, Fraud or Patrol. Uh, did, did you not hear the fact that I gave them the opportunity to dismiss this? Well, there you have it, folks. A man who always claims to know the law and wants to know if it's a policy or a law, now he's breaking the law. How about that, Josh? Well, I'll tell you one thing, sweetheart. You try to skate out of paying those fines or you don't show up in court, you could be in a world of hurt. Yeah, because traffic tickets can get you thrown in jail just as easily as anything else. Ooh, you better be careful, sweetheart. You don't want to get yourself in trouble with the courts. You don't have any money to bail yourself out. Unless MCC and freaking media want to come to the rescue. But if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel like Josh, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh. Racist. Oh, oh. that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Oh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Wait, no reason I'm really, to have I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, ma'am. No, that's the do. law. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. 
Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!